I'm a filmmaker. And it's a long story how I come to, to have something to do with VJing, because I'm not a VJ. And I don't do VJing, I'm a professor for film, I'm a professor for new media, and I'm teaching new media. What I want to do today is just, and I didn't want to show something, but I want to talk about a simple thing that happened to me some years ago, where I had no camera. And I wanted to make a movie, and I had only a computer. And I was thinking it might be a good idea to, what can you do with only making a movie and a computer, um, only a computer, and create images, make them moving. Okay, we know Photoshop, we know After Effects, we know all these kind of programs, but what else could you do? I wanted to have a camera back, and I got some kind of simple security camera. And this simple security camera, not the film camera, I attached to my computer, and I said, okay, that picture, what can I do with that picture? I should maybe do something about it. And I realized that this picture is only interesting if it's live. So if it makes, if it's something is changing and if some action is there in front of it, and it's nothing what I'm used to as a filmmaker, that I set up something. So I was thinking about what is the character of video, and the character of video is actually that something simultaneously is happening in front of the camera. And that you see that at the same time. While film, as a filmmaker, is something which happened in the past, and when you've seen it on the screen in cinema, it is something which is already done before. So cinema is always a delay. It's always something happened in the past, while video is something which happened at the same time. And then I realized that the video picture is actually not a picture. The video image is something which is written line by line and dot by dot. So what about slowing down the video so much that you have only the dots and the lines and you interact with them? While thinking about these things, I did a simple art installation, which is about, um, I guess you all have video monitors in your rooms at home, TV sets, and they're running sometimes, or you have, you're projecting something, and you imagine you go into a room and the projection stops. You haven't done anything, but the projection stops. It freezes. And you go first and it turns into a game. Something like it pixelates, and while you're moving in the room, while you're starting to dance, you can reconstruct the pixels. And when you can do that, whatever sensors are there, then you could reconstruct images and you could create your own images. So the idea was for me was saying like, okay, I go in a room, there's a projection, and this projection is my partner, it's like a dance partner. And this video, I could act with, I could dance with. It's not because of a lack of a girlfriend or lack of <laughs> boyfriend or whatever. It's just the video animates me to do something because the video by itself is something lively, and it gives these kind of reflections. I went to Manchester, there is the uh, Lowry Center, a museum in the harbor area of Manchester, and there was uh, a playground, and it was an interactive playground. And in this playground, the amazing thing was it was done for kids, but the average age in this playground was 40. So all people in my age and older going and playing with projections. And there were simple things like you jump against the wall and the room, the color projection changes. The pro projection which is on the walls changes. And there was <coughs> sand on the floor and this sand, you could lay in it and the colors would change which were projected on your body. And it's amazing how people react when they're in the projection they change totally. So I was thinking interactivity and interactive video would be something if you become part of the video. Not only if you dance with the video, but if you can become a part of it. So while something happens live, you can act in the video. But that's, that's a little bit difficult. So what I did or what I'm doing right now when I'm not teaching film is I'm using a simple laptop, a Mac, with a camera on it, mm. and I'm watching a movie on it. And this camera tracks me. And I'm using this tracking signal. I've seen lots of VJs doing these kind of things too, with lots of action. I'm using this tracking signal 
to track my body. I want to track my feelings, my states, because with my feelings, I can be in the video. I want to immerse in the video. And if I have music with it, I could track that too, which my, the music might influence my, well, absolute thing, my brain waves, my heart, my blood pressure, the pictures, the colors might influence me. Sounds a little bit esoteric or so, but it sounds a little bit like, um, not really scientific, but we could measure that. I could put up a whole battery of sensors, um, and, but I can also do it with a simple webcam. The only problem is the light which is around. Does it track enough? What does it track? How do I program it? So, when I'm thinking now about video, using video and interacting with video, I'm thinking, the moment I can capture the signal which comes by time as dots and is a simple volume in uh, like voltages. I control these voltages by just telling them, hey, you should do this. So I can become a part of it if I define my body in the video, if I'm tracking it, and responding that to the audience. But there's a problem. If I'm alone, it might work well. But if I'm with lots of people, everyone does the same thing, then this becomes a kind of a cacophony. It becomes a kind of a big, big chaos. It might not work. So what do you do? Do you do just reflect the images of one person, or do you reflect the, the mood of a whole, whole atmosphere? And that's, I really love the work which was done in uh, Sven Vett's uh, Frankfurt Club. I don't remember the club exactly his name. Kokum. Kokum Club. I love these kind of islands in places where you can say like, okay, well, let's program everything. Let's not just simple project on a wall. Make everything a projection of space. It's not fully done in everywhere there, but you have different areas. And I know it only from photos. I don't know, you've been there. Never. No. You read? It's, um, I think the people who created all the software is um, it's a company called Meso. Uh -huh. They yes. have all this uh, V, 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 V software yeah. using to program this ambience. Yeah. And Meso is doing that since uh, that was the Expo 2000. I've seen some works from them, and it's incredible. And I, I'm picking up some ideas from them, saying, like, look, projection on, on the screen. If I want to be in the video, if I want to immerse, if I want to be, it's, it's, we should leave the screen. We should add everything as a screen. There's a Finnish company who f put out a projection system which is based on smoke. They put out, they can put up curtains which out of smoke and use them as, as monitor, as screen, as projector. And right now it's a little bit too expensive, but I guess in, in, a, in a few years, or even in a few months, this technology will be available. And if you can control sound, you hear while well, simple with moving, with hand moving, so you should be able to control other kind of surfaces. And these surfaces make part of your body, and part of the experience you want to have, to, to immerse in. And um, that would give the whole video this kind of immersive effect. Now, I would like to experiment personally with the smoke walls, because could you imagine you can just put up smoke somewhere? I mean, of course, all the technology is quite expensive, but maybe we could do other things with a, paint, a special type of paint, which we use then for projection parts. Maybe we can create uh, forms with none. That would be not only entertaining, but it would be at the same time to recreate a different world. Now, of course, the one thing it goes, the immersive idea goes into something like second life. But second life is on, in a one way so artificial, so simple graphic. What if this second life is not like second life, you know, now what if it becomes a kind of a skin? So a kind of a video skin you can carry around with you. Different worlds, different kind of, um, well, it might end up in kind of hallucinatory states, 
and, and other things. So I don't know. I'm just experimenting with it. But my main interest in that is that all this wouldn't make sense if it's just simple only entertaining. What actually would happen or is or what actually would be necessary would to form this in a kind of narrative process, in a kind of interactive process. And therefore, I'm, and that's the last remark, I guess, before, because Sana has the show already ready, and it's, it's better to see something than to talk about all these things. But what about, or what is really interaction? And there's one sort um, we discussed with Butch for some years ago, years ago, and it, I'm always coming back to this one sort. It's when you interact, then you change something. The main thing is that interaction creates change. So there is a beginning state where we're all in the same level, but the moment you interact, it changed, and it responds. So it's not only that interaction is something is changing, no, it is responding to your action. So that means, based on the response you get, you will be observing the environment again, or whatever is happening, and you will act again upon this, and that will again be a kind of reciprocal change of the, the whole thing, what's happening. That was actually all what I want to tell. And these ideas are not new, they are going back since the 70s or 50s or 60s. Nam Yoon Pike worked on these ideas. Um, lots of other people worked on these ideas. I want to just say at the end, thank you for, for that you're listening. Um, I want to say thank you that you're doing this event, a VJ event. I think it's very important that people start to, to discuss the things we're doing, what you're doing, and to show what's going on. And I think it's very important to do this in Turkey because um, lots of people are not aware of it. They're not, they don't know all these kind of activities. And I think the word should be at end to you and the professors can write big articles about it and then that should be the case. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat>